think they decided to help Tommy's Island because the mission and the message of the story fits so well into their mission as an organization. Safe Coast of Wildlife is an environmental nonprofit whose name is their mission uh, to save coastal wildlife. That's why they exist. Today, Save Coast of Wildlife is on the north point of Sandy Hook, and they're leading a beach cleanup. Really, the goal is to, one, get debris, plastic, ghost fishing gear, anything that could harm wildlife and harm people out of the environment and disposed of properly. Save Coastal Wildlife is also coming at conservation from a community outreach and education perspective. The biggest impact to things like this is that it gets people outside in the environment, interacting with the environment. And there's no reason that that can't be fun. Uh, so Safe Coast Wildlife has been our oldest partner and the first uh, partner to come on board and say, yes, we're, we want to be in your film and we want to help you with this. The story of conservation is told throughout Tommy's Island as a personal one. Just as Tom carries that responsibility driven by deep love and connection to the island as if it was the whole world in the palm of his hands. Save Coast of Wildlife holds the whole Jersey Shore. That might be the biggest gift that Save Coast of Wildlife has, has given is a community built around conservation. That gives me a lot of hope. I'm Gavin Schwala, and I'm the director of Tommy's Island.